Hi, this is DJ Bot again with Bot, Mo Bot and Sons Monument, and we're going to show you how to clean a headstone using the cleaner that we would recommend for the public. Now, before we get started, though, we want to show you this stone that we've taken out of the cemetery just a little bit ago. You can see that it's uh, crusted with hard water deposits. Now, in the past, you think to yourself, well, I can just use whatever I use in my home to remove those hard water s spots. If it works on if it works on my sink and my bathtub, it'll work on a headstone. We've come to find out, though, that the manufacturer, manufacturers of domestic products for your house to clean hard water off, those products are oil and wax based, which is something you never want to put on a headstone, any oils or waxes. You don't want to car wax it, you don't want to old English it, you don't want to put any furniture polish on it, you don't want to put any WD-40 on it, you don't want to do any of that because what you'll do, those products darken the stone and so the, the techniques that you see here of unpolished and polish, you'll turn that unpolished dark and you won't be able to see that contrast. So you don't want to use any, any domestic grocery household products that you can get at a grocery store. So what we've done is we went out and we found this company in Texas, Sparks Brick and Tile. And they make an acid-based brick and tile cleaner. Has a little bit of soap and a little bit of muriatic acid so that you can uh, get, get the job done without any oils, waxes, or dyes. What we suggest, this is a one quart bottle that we sell at BoughtAndSons.com. What we suggest in order to uh, make it so that you clean more headstones is just go ahead and take the nozzle off of your household cleaner and it will just screw right onto that bottle. Then in order to make sure that you get as many uses as you can out of it, just go ahead and spray it on. You can see it already working and, and reacting much as muriatic acid would do if you were just using straight muriatic acid. You can see it foaming, eating away the, the hard water deposits. This allows you to get the with the spray nozzle, it saves you. This, this bottle should clean this stone maybe two or three times when used in conjunction with the, uh, with the Bot & Sons Clean Stone that we have shown you in other videos. And that is an integral part, the Clean Stone. We never clean a stone without the Clean Stone. It needs to, it needs to be used in tandem, hand in hand. But you can see as we spray this, as it works its way down, you can see it foaming up. That foaming is the acid reacting with the calcium and minerals that are naturally occurring in water that get baked onto your stone in the heat of the summer. You can see it just eating away as it moves down the bottom. Now, I don't have gloves on, and I've got a couple cuts in my hands, and right now, I'm feeling it, just a couple scratches. So you will want to use some dish pan, rubber gloves or something, but you don't need to worry about eye protection or respiratory protection, because this doesn't have that type of fumes to it. This does have, like I said, an acid base, but it does have a bit of soap and water that also accompanies it. But you'll want, again, you'll want your, your brush to scrub it around and, and move it around and get stuff done. Get the minerals off. The top of this stone is polished. No, it's not, it's sawn, but it's smooth. And then you can just go ahead and work your way down. And if you see something foam up, you can hit it again if there's quite a bit of build up. Just go ahead and, and use the, uh, the sprayer. We'll go ahead and get the sides. You can see the sides, how bad they are, how built up it, it has become. So just go ahead and spray it on. I bet we've already cleaned the front of this stone and the top. We've got the back to do. But I would, I would bet that we've only used maybe a quarter of that bottle so far. If you were to pour it straight on, it would just run right off onto the ground and uh, you'd probably only get one cleaning with one bottle of, of the brick and tile cleaner. That's why we recommend using the spray bottle. Now I've already sprayed it once, you watch me do it, but as we spray it again, you can see it foam up again because we're not quite to the bottom of the, uh, of the minerals that coat the stone or that are coating the stone. 
So just spray it again. You can see the color starts to come out again. Is it wet? And then once again, once again, make sure that you've got water next to you. Wash off your brush and go ahead and wash off your stone with your, with your bucket of water in the cemetery. And then we'll give it a couple minutes to dry and we'll touch it up with the clean stone. Now that the stone has time to dry, you can see this is just after the use of just a chemical, just the brick and tile cleaner. You can see it still leaves just a little bit of a film of the uh, calcium that's still in there. That's why you need to still use the clean stone. The clean stone will come back and just rub that right off. You can see the little centers of the letters where the residue still was. You can now you can start to see the color. But you just go over this. You can see where it's really built up here. It's just real no match for the foam glass block that we call clean stone that you can get at bottensons.com. Also available there is the brick and tile cleaner in quartz. You can see on the top here that it still didn't get it off of that polish. And so just use it on the, the polished top. You can see the, right here you can see the dust. That's, the clean stone is blue. That is the calcium that's being rubbed off right there on the clean stone. The other thing that I like about this clean stone, the reason why we, we use it and we market it and we like it, is this round edge right here. The clean stone will just conform to that edge and get the hard water off. You can see it just formed right to that edge, right to that profile. And so you just use it and clean all those edges up. You can see the front here has turned out really well with the, between the clean stone and the brick and tile cleaner. The stone looks as though it's been here or was just put up yesterday. Those are a, a couple more tricks from a 100 year old trade. Subscribe to our, our, our page on YouTube and like us on Facebook, Bought and Sons on Facebook. Thank you very much. You can see on the back here, even though we've used the chemical, you've still got a bit of residue. It's just going to require a little bit of elbow grease. But the clean stone, once again, will just take it right off. Now, if you have any more questions about cleaning or tips or just questions in general about headstone, please feel free to comment on our YouTube site, YouTube site or uh, leave us questions on our Facebook page be happy to help you and happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you very much. Hoovers.